Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my Pretties for Your Face holiday collection. Uh, everything this year is themed off of the movie A Christmas Story. There were a few movies that I had in mind that I wanted to do this year, or that I was going to pick from to do this year, but I went with A Christmas Story. That is a movie that I have to watch every year at Christmas. Um, growing up, my family, well still, even when I go over there on Christmas Day, they always have the 24-hour marathon of it on, so I cannot even tell you how many times I've seen that movie in my lifetime. But I'm going to show you the things that I made. Everything is makeup related. I think I've mentioned before that I'm kind of taking a step back from bath and body stuff because it just it doesn't sell as well and I have to I want to focus more on more creative things and I just feel like I can get more creative with makeup. So the first thing and I don't even have one of the lip scrubs to show you because they sold already and I'm going to make some more, but I did a lip scrub and lip balm. You can get them as a set or by themselves and it's called a blue ball so both the balm and the scrub are blue the lip balm doesn't color your lips at all it's just a blue color to make it fun and it is blue raspberry scented and the lip scrub obviously is flavored so you can lick it off your lips after you're done using it and it smells really good it smells exactly like uh, and the scrub tastes exactly like a blue raspberry blow pop, so kind of like a sourish, sourish blue raspberry. So this obviously, I, I, <laughs> I would say if you haven't seen the movie, but I think everybody and their aunt has seen the movie A Christmas Story. But there's a part at the end when they're opening presents, and the mom gives the dad. A giant blue ball bowling ball and he's like well it's a blue ball that's one of my favorite parts of the movie so I knew I had to make something to do with that and I couldn't do like a blue highlighter is weird for Christmas time and like a blue eyeshadow wasn't gonna go with the rest of the color story in the palette which you'll see um, so I did a blue lip balm and lip scrub Now the next thing, uh, this isn't in like a compact or anything because these are just mine, the ones that I use for photos and swatching purposes and stuff. So it looks really dark on camera, but this is the blush that I made and this is called Pink Nightmare. Um, obviously for the part in the movie where Ralphie has, he gets the... Um, bunny pajamas, the pink bunny suit from his aunt, and his dad says he looks like a pink nightmare. So <laughs> this is a hot pink. I really am so happy with how this turned out because it's such a soft formula. So it can be a really scary in your face bright blush, but you can also, oops, you can also blend it out. So that's like one swatch of it, which is obviously probably too much for most people, but you can use it really lightly just for a flush of color, which is really pretty. Or you can use it as an eyeshadow and have it be like this massive pink matte hot hot pink eyeshadow. Um, but this is a really pretty color. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, and it's definitely like a, a blush I'm going to use for the holidays, just lightly, because I don't want to look crazy. But it is very pigmented and a little goes a long way. So as with all of my highlighters and I, and ugh, I can't talk today, my highlighters and blushes are all available in 36 millimeter, 44 millimeter, which is what this is, or the big 57 millimeter pan. And I'll show you, because the highlighter that I made, the one that I made for myself here is in a 57 millimeter pan, so you can see the size difference. That is 57 and that is 44. And then the, th uh, I don't have a 35 lying over here, but it's slightly smaller than this one. So that's what they look like. You can get the 57 millimeter ones in compacts too. I don't have compacts for the other two sizes yet. I'm hoping to find them somewhere. They're really hard to find. Otherwise they would all come with that option. Um, but yeah, this is Pink Nightmare. And then the 
highlighter is really cool. It's got a lot of different colored sparkles in there that probably aren't coming off on the screen. This is called Electric Sex. I knew I wanted to name something in the collection that name because the, uh, the part of the movie where, um, the dad first puts the leg lamp in the window and the narrator, Ralphie narrating the story, says the glow of electric sex. <laughs> so this is what this is for. I think this is a really pretty highlighter for the holidays. And it is basically a very pale lavender base and it's got like green and pink and gold little tiny tiny sparkles in there so it's not gonna be glittery on your skin it's more of a metallic type finish so it's very glowy and it doesn't have any like white in it that it's gonna give you a white cast so it will work on any skin tone it's so pretty this is one of my new favorite highlighters that I've done so when it's not in the light you can see the hints of lavender in there I don't know how I tried to light this as best I can so you can see the true colors but sometimes it doesn't come across on camera very well but it's just this silvery very pale lavender almost white but it has that tiny hint of purple and then it's got a little bit of green and gold and pink when you see it in person like I'm looking at it in person obviously with the light shining on it and it's so got so much dimension to it but I'm looking at it on the screen and it just looks like it's whitish <laughs> so it's kind of one of those things you have to see in person it's really pretty um, so that is the electric sex highlighter and then the last thing in the collection I told you guys it wasn't gonna be a huge collection this year because I wanted to just really make a cute little but like I have it for sale on the website as a bundle or you can get everything by itself um, and the bundle is what's sold the most so far so if you want everything you can get it in a little bundle um, well, let me get the little fallout out of here so this is the you'll shoot your eye out palette um, the artwork is from a, an artist on Etsy and it's just it's got Ralphie in his little pink bunny suit the you'll shoot your eye out with a C minus on the paper, <laughs> the leg lamp, and a couple of Christmas balls. So that's the front and then the back. I really wanted this to like capture retro looking, um, what do you call it, Christmas wrapping paper. And just like the colors in it, I wanted to remind you of like retro Christmas colors. <laughs> so there's nothing super bright in here. It's very... It's festive, but it's more muted colors. So let me just show it to you. Normally, this is my palette and it doesn't have a mirror in it, but when you order it, it has a mirror here. So that I just broke this one and I was like, all right, I'm not gonna waste another one, so I'll use this. Um, so like I said, I wanted it to be more retro colors and now my camera's not focusing. So, like, I did want to include a red, but it's not a super bright red. I wanted a green, but it's not a super bright green. So, it just reminds me of, like, older Christmas stuff. So, the first color... Hold on, I'm to get the pink off my finger here. The first color is this really pretty peachy champagne. It's super soft. This is so pretty as, like, an inner corner highlight or an all-over lid color. And this one is called Fragile. And it looks like that. Oh, Jesus. Maybe if I had my hand in the screen, in the shot, that's what Fragile looks like. It's just, it's got a nice reflectiveness to it, like a metallic peachy champagne. So that is Fragile. I kind of need to lay this flat so that... It's just this is ugly because there was glue here and I don't want it in the shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you don't have to look at the ugly glue splotch on the top of the, uh, the palette. Okay, so the red color is called Major Award 
and it's kind of like a reddish coral. So like I said, I wanted a red, but I wanted it to be more muted and like, that was a horrible swatch, more of like a retro Christmas red. I don't know how to explain it, just like, you know when you see old-timey wrapping paper or like Christmas cards and stuff, it's more like this color red and not super vibrant bright red. So that is major award. I'm gonna clean my hand off so I have more room for swatches here. Then we have Whoopi Zeppelin. <laughs> that is from, again, towards the end when they're opening presents and Randy gets his silver Zeppelin. I knew that if I did a silver, it was gonna have to be named that. And this is insane. This is super soft, super pigmented. I love how this one turned out. It's just like a tin foil aluminum silver. So that one's a little crazy, but very holiday, like total New Year's, definitely one you could use for New, Year, New Year's Eve. Um, so that's Whoopi Zeppelin. And then another one of my favorite ones. God, I can't even remember what I named these things. Uh, this one's Triple Dog Dare. <laughs> so this is a really dark... Well, not super dark, but it's like a forest green base and it's got a bunch of gold, like gold flash to it when the light hits. So that is Triple Dog Dare. Again, very Christmassy, but not super bright, not something like a bright color you need to be scared of if you're not used to using tons of color. That's what that one looks like. And then the last one, of course, of course, I had to name it O oh Fudge. When I first started making this, I knew I wanted a brown, and then I was like, of course, I have to name it O oh Fudge. <laughs> so this is a matte, kind of chocolatey brown color. And that's a good, like, crease color and a color you could use to blend out all the other colors just makes the palette cohesive I think because it works with any one of these other colors or any combination of them um, like I said I just wanted a really kind of retro palette but still holiday colors and this is what my brain came up with so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this I already have everything on the site. It took me kind of a while to finally get around to filming this video, but everything is on prettiesforyourface.com. So the palette is $20. The highlighters and blushes range from 11 to 18. Like the 33 millimeter pan is 11. The 44 millimeter pan is 13. The 57 millimeter, pa <laughs> millimeter, millimeter pan is 15, and then if you get the 57 millimeter pan in a compact, it's 18. So that's the prices for those. And then, if I don't want to say the wrong prices, I'm trying to remember here. The Blue Ball Lip Balm is $4. The Lip Scrub is $6, or you can get the Balm and Scrub Duo for $10. So... Um, and then like I said, I have this entire bundle where you get everything. The blush and the highlighter will come in the 33, 33 millimeter pans and that's $50 for the entire bundle of everything. Um, a 36 millimeter, I don't know why I kept saying 33. The size smaller than this one is 36 millimeter. <laughs> 33 is weird. I don't think they even make that pan size, so ignore what I just said. I'm gonna have to make an annotation now when I edit this video that I kept saying 33 instead of 36, but yeah. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed my little swatch video showing you my latest creations for the holidays, and I will talk to you next time.